What is going on YouTube? It is Flawfish here and welcome to another NHL 14 tips and tricks video. Today we are going to be covering the pullback wrist shot which is one of the most lethal shots in the game and it's a very powered shot and yeah as you can see it goes in a lot of times. So let's go ahead and let's describe how it happens. So first off they're going to skate into the zone and if they're a lefty they're going to cut to the right and pull back into a toe drag position and then shoot it across to the left and if they're a righty it's going to be the exact opposite they're going to cut to the left and then they're going to shoot it back across to the right side and what it does is it just draws the goalie out a little bit and the shot's actually really effective so let's go ahead and let's see it again Again, he cuts it a little bit to the right he's going to pull it back and he's going to let it go and he's going to find the back of the net. Now let's go ahead and let's look at where the pullback wrist shot occurs so right here on screen the orange area is generally where people start the pullback shot or the cut and then the red area is typically where they finish a shot from where they release the shot now there is a little bit of a slight variation as people will do it from the face off dots or so and a little bit inside this as well for the most part that's where 90 percent of them occur and that's where you're gonna really have to worry about so let's bring in an attacker with the gray arrow above him and also a defender with the red arrow above him so the red arrow is what normally we would do and normally the play that most people would make here is actually just drop back to the slot now this is a horrible idea because not only do you set yourself up far away from the cut lane and you can't cut that off you also act as a bit of a screen so when they go to pull back and they'll pull back halfway through and release a shot the goalie is going to be screened which makes it an even tougher save and more likely to go in so let's go ahead and let's rewind this clip and right here is a fatal mistake for me I keep on dropping back and dropping back instead of playing a man-to-man -man type of coverage and my opponent picks up on this he goes into the pullback wrist shot and look at the gap between us there's a huge gap between us and there's really not much that I can do to stop this shot from happening I mean I could try diving but again I just wouldn't get there and again as you see the play unfolds I screen the goalie and the shot is an easy goal in the back of the net just like that you do not want that to happen so let's go ahead and let's revisit this scenario and learn how to defend it so the first thing you have to do is break your habit of dropping back instead of dropping back you've got to play a man-to-man -man type of coverage and you want to be about a poke check distance away maybe a little bit over that way no matter what they do so if they try to cut to the right here you can easily hop up and defend it you can either poke check it or probably hit and cut their lane off but also if they see that and they might not go for the pullback wrist shot because of the distance they'll try to drop down and go around your defender but instead of doing that you can just poke check it or sick lift there and guess what you're going to be regaining possession and you're going to be on the counter attack pretty quickly so let's go ahead and let's watch this scenario play out on how to defend it so you're going to see here with Cassian's positioning now he's a little bit further away which is perfectly fine because again it completely eliminates any possibility of the pullback wrist shot from occurring and if he's going to attack He's going to have to go through Seth Jones down low, but also Cassian is in good enough position where I'm actually skating to the left with him and he can poke check this puck away. So let's go ahead and let's watch this scenario play out. So because of Cassian's positioning, he actually doesn't even go for the pullback wrist shot. Now this is key because if you can eliminate people from doing them, guess what? They're not going to happen on you. And better yet, he cut down low and because of Cassian's positioning again, playing that more man-to-man -man type of coverage, we're actually going to be able to knock the puck off of his stick and regain possession, which is a bonus because, hey, when you regain possession, stuff like this can happen. You get a two-on-one rush and the puck's in the back of the net and you all of a sudden now have a lead as opposed to having a deficit. So anyways, guys, that is how you want to defend the pullback wrist shot. Again, to revisit it, all you want to do is instead of playing a zone type of coverage, you want to play a man-to-man -man type of coverage and be about a poke checks distance apart from your opponent and you because, hey, more often than not, they're not even going to go for the pullback wrist shot if you're that close. Instead, they're going to try to cut down low or drop back, and if they cut down low, you're going to be able to poke check the puck off their stick and regain possession anyways. Hopefully this helps you guys defend the pullback wrist shot. Again, if you enjoyed the video, a rating is very much appreciated. As always, take it easy, and I will catch you guys on the flop side.